usually hop in right here underneath, um, kind of in the stomach area. Step our feet into these back legs, which are like shoes. Get ourselves strapped in around the waist, shoulders, and around the thighs. Snap on the headphones, and then we position our bodies right above these arm stilts in the front. So my arms are walking on arm stilts, and the back are in the legs like shoes. So it's just arm leg, arm leg, arm leg, and I'm pretty secure there with all of my, my straps. Inside of the T-Rex, we, uh, we have a set of bicycle brakes that are hooked up to a yoke. That is our control that we're using. It operates in uh, any direction we need it to, so by pushing on it, pulling on it, uh, twisting it in various directions, we're able to get this head to rise, go down, to tilt, and uh, you know, sort of develop that into what we hope is an accurate uh, portrayal of his behavior. And there's a backpack in there that we put on and then we're connected to the puppet. Wherever we go, it goes. I had me watching videos of cassowaries. Cassowaries are big birds, technically dinosaurs. I would watch their legs, and he had me study their legs and their high stepping, and they walked on their toes, and they're heavy. So there was a sense of weight that we had to be aware of when we operated the T-Rex. Use our imaginations along with, you know, what we've been trained in here from the different paleontologists, the ideas about how this animal lived. So we take that, we look at videos of other animals that are similar, might have moved similarly, and then we watch each other as we train to see what looks best. And each of us brings uh, a different idea of how to create these movements, which we then add to. Uh, we all have a practice of yoga, Pilates. We take those things and the study of animal behavior and develop movements that we, we, we hope are accurate. don't have a lot of vision. We're not actually seeing through the eyes of the puppet. The best way we see is pretty much right below us through these um, panels in the neck here. And sometimes if I open up the mouth in a certain way, I can get a little bit of the better vision. We do a lot of choreography. We block out our shows just so and we really know our stage well so that when we're out there and only looking at feet or only kind of hearing voices, we're able to still know where we are and not get lost out there and not accidentally run into something. First of all, there are so many things that are awesome, but I really love interacting with our audiences, especially the really small children who can absolutely suspend all disbelief. And I love to hear, oh, is it real? Is it real? Because they're just negotiating all of that in their minds. Just to see that in a little kid's face is like the coolest thing. Working with our team. We have a fantastic team, uh, creative, talented people, and I love coming to work every day and working with them to inspire kids. Connecting arts and science has been, I think, one of my favorite parts of the job. With a close second, just offering arts education to kids in Los Angeles.